An extremely important part of any environmental assessment, which includes the collection and analysis of samples, is ensuring the integrity of the sample from collection through data reporting. The chain of custody is the documentation of the history of samples through all possession and handling from the time of collection through the analysis and final disposition. The chain of custody is especially important if analytical data or conclusions based upon the data is used in a legal capacity. To complete a chain of custody, the following must be completed. The project number, project name, and the physical address where the assessment was completed at, the name of the laboratory the samples are being sent to, and the laboratory address. The laboratory turnaround time for analysis must be indicated so the laboratory knows when the sample results must be issued. The shipping tracking number must be documented along with any specific shipping notes or criteria. The sampling date must also be completed to indicate when the samples were collected. The next steps involve documenting the specific sample information. The sample number is a unique identifier that is present on the sample media or is recorded by the consultant on the sampling media and must correspond to the sample number on the chain of custody. The sample description or location involves describing the sample type and the location the sample was collected from. For example, if a piece of drywall was collected from a living room for asbestos analysis, then the line item under the description and location section of the chain of custody would have drywall in living room notated. The next section involves describing the sample type, A for air sample, T for tape, B for bulk sample, and so on. The following sections include the sample time, flow rate, and total volume expressed as LPM, which means liters per minute. This is related to air sample collection. The sample time relates to the minutes the sample was collected for. The flow rate is related to the calibrated flow of air from the pump and the total volume is calculated by multiplying the flow rate by the sample time. The next section of the chain of custody is the area size section, which relates to the surface samples collected. The area where the surface sample was collected is notated. For example, a bacteria swab sample collected from a 10 centimeter squared area would have that area recorded in the section. To complete the chain of custody, any special instructions should be documented in the remarks section, and the relinquished by section requires completion along with the date and time. This section must only be completed at the date and time the samples are placed in the shipping container.